Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss understanding profit maximization and I'm going to go through two examples. So let's start with our profit function. We have the firm's total revenue, which is TR, so all of the money that the firm accrues from trading, minus the total cost of production, which is TC, and that's our profit pi. In order to maximize our profit here, we're going to take the derivative of our profit function with respect to quantity, and then we can set that derivative equal to zero. And that will tell us the quantity that the firm should produce if it wants to maximize profit. And roughly the logic of doing this is something like the following. If our profit function looks like this, the derivative tells us about the slope of the function. And in setting the derivative equal to zero, which is the slope, we're isolating the maximum point because when the function reaches its peak right at the top before it starts to come down again, well, the slope of the function is exactly equal to zero at that point. Now to take the derivative of our profit function, we can just take the derivative of the component parts of our profit function. So the derivative of our profit will be equal to the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity minus the derivative of our total cost with respect to quantity. And actually the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity is actually marginal revenue, which is MR. And the derivative of our total cost with respect to quantity is marginal cost, which is MC. We set this equal to zero and let's add marginal cost MC to both sides. And we get the condition that the firm maximizes profit by setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. And that's our condition of profit maximization for the firm. We set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So let's do a couple of examples with this condition. In the first example, a firm faces the demand curve Q is equal to 40 minus P and their total cost function is 2Q. We are asked to find the profit maximizing level of production for the firm and the associated price. Well, we know that we need to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost in order to find our profit maximizing quantity. To find marginal revenue, we're going to take the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity. So we need to find total revenue. Now our total revenue is price times quantity, but actually because we're taking the derivative with respect to quantity, we want total revenue just in terms of the quantity variable. So we need to substitute out the price variable. And actually we're going to use the demand curve to do this. Our demand is Q is equal to 40 minus P. Let's add P to both sides. We get Q plus P is equal to 40. And then we can take away Q from both sides and we get P is equal to 40 minus Q. So that's the price variable in terms of quantity. So we can substitute this into our total revenue formula and we get total revenue is equal to, well, P is 40 minus Q all multiplied by Q. This expands to 40Q minus Q squared and taking the derivative of this, we get marginal revenue is equal to 40 minus 2Q. Now our marginal cost is just the derivative of our total cost, which is 2Q. So if I do that, I get two. All right, in maximizing profit, then we're setting marginal revenue, that's 40 minus 2Q equal to marginal cost, which is two. This simplifies to, well, negative 2Q is equal to negative 38 once I've taken away 40 from both sides. And then I can divide by negative two and I get Q is equal to 19. In order to find the price, I can just substitute that Q star, that optimum quantity back into our demand formula. And actually I have demand in terms of price, which is useful for us here. If I do that, I get P is equal to 40 minus 19 is equal to 21. So in this example, if the firm wants to maximize profit, they would produce 19 units and sell each unit at $21 or whatever currency that, that you're in. Visually, it looks something like this. So in our example, marginal cost turned out to be constant at two, so it's a straight line, and our marginal revenue curve comes in under our demand. Our profit maximizing level of production is where the two uh, lines intersect, so that's Q stars 19, and the price P star is here at 21. All right, in our second example, we're told that 
we have a firm in a perfectly competitive market that the market price is $25 and that the marginal cost of production is 5Q. Now, in this case, because we're in perfect competition, the marginal revenue is equal to the price. This is because the firm is a price taker. So how much they produce doesn't affect the price. And so when they produce and sell one more unit, their additional revenue from that sale will always be equal to the market price. And in this case, 25. So marginal revenue is equal to price. And we know that we need marginal revenue to be equal to marginal cost in order to profit maximize. So this actually reduces to setting the quantity such that price is equal to marginal cost uh, in order to maximize profit. And that's in perfect competition. And that rule is true for all perfectly competitive firms in order to profit maximize. They can just set price equal to marginal cost. So we get 25, which is our price, equal to 5Q. Divide both sides by 5, we see that Q is equal to 5. So the profit maximizing quantity for the firm is 5, and they will sell each of those units uh, for $25. Visually, in this case, we do have an upward sloping marginal cost curve. And the market price is horizontal, and it cuts through like that. That's our marginal revenue. And at the intersection there, that's quantity is equal to five. And the price, of course, is 25. All right, so that's it. That the profit maximizing condition, marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. And two examples, one where a firm has some market power and one uh, where a firm is perfectly competitive. So this is profit maximizing behavior when the firm can choose just one price. It's a single price uh, profit maximization. If you can choose multiple prices, so if you price discriminate, then profit maximization looks a little bit differently. But uh, this is the main one. I do hope the video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe. I hope you guys are having a really great day or night.